Good afternoon, everybody. It's Weather Force with another detailed weather forecast as we are keeping an eye on this big wild storm that could trigger some big time severe weather for both for Thursday, Friday into Saturday. Before we actually take a look at that, definitely on the warm side across much of the Midwest, take a look at these temperatures. It is currently in the upper 80s to lower 90s across the high plains. Look at temperatures down across Arizona, really warm in the upper 90s to right around 100 degrees. Got some nasty heat down here that will linger for another couple of days. But another weather system coming in from the west is going to help to bring down those temperatures. In fact, temperatures are warmer than they were 24 hours ago. Take a look at the high plains here. We're seeing temperatures right around 15 to 20 degrees warmer than it was 24 hours ago across much of the Midwest. Definitely on the warmer side with some cooler than uh, cooler temperatures up there across the far northern tier. But you have to go in some areas where you're going to find that. All right, so now about the severe weather that we are really concerned about is it's going to be coming in on Wednesday and Thursday. We can see right down here across Oklahoma, we do got some showers and some thunderstorms. Some of these could be posing a risk for severe weather, an organized threat that is. And then eventually, by the time we go into, say, this is for uh, Thursday morning, we have some showers and thunderstorms here, and this will continue all the way into Thursday afternoon. So this would be the 24th and the 25th of your April. So if you're waking up early in the morning, just be aware of that. But it's really going to be Friday morning. Keep your eyes on what we have down here. We got showers, we got thunderstorms. Some of these will pose a risk for very large hail, damaging winds, and maybe even some tornadoes as well, because we have this dry line that is going to be positioned. We got a surface flow right here, and we just have all this moisture being transported northward. We even have a really strong surface flow that does develop. We have seen many of these already. Lisi Genesis is what we call it. We got cooler air back west, and that tries to get into the filtration here where this moat, where this dry air is, and that's where we have our dry line. By the time we go into Saturday morning, though, this surface flow will be moving into southern Minnesota. But you can see this arcing band here. This is where we have the best chances of moderate to heavy rainfall. And then down across the south here, say portions of, say, Illinois, as well as Indiana, you might get a pop-up shower or two for your morning hours of Saturday. And then that front goes all the way back into Texas where we have that dry line. In fact, another surface low is getting ready to develop for this weekend. And that's going to trigger our next round of severe weather. So we're looking at a couple of days, folks, where we are going to be having to deal with some large hail, damaging winds, and the threat for tornadoes because of this system moving out. And then another one coming in off the New Mexico plateau, the Edwards plateau could be the next one. And look at even California getting some rain. Yeah, getting some um, April showers and then some April storms, we could call it, over across the Midwest. And this again will be for Saturday into Sunday is when I think we have the best chances of seeing another significant severe weather event unfolding for the high plains. So let's take a look now. Let's fast forward this uh, all the way into Sunday and a Monday. There is your system coming through right there across the deep south. That's the second system, that front that swings on through. So now, what is going to be behind all of this? Well, when we take a look, oops, yeah, I'm getting used to the whole green screen setup. Got my whole office all cleared out. No more bed, no more anything. This is basically an empty room of nothingness except my computer. So here's that first system that's going to come through. There's your trough. There is your trough ejection. Take a look. We got a negatively tilted trough here. Very energetic. And that gets into the plains. Look at these winds. Anywhere between 60 to 80 knots at 500 millibars. And that's going to generate the lift. 
And then we got another system back west. That's going to be the next one that's going to eject into the high plains. So by the time we go into Saturday and into Sunday, this little guy over here looks pretty energetic. And that one would be the one to watch for significant severe weather. So now, when it comes to severe weather, what are the ingredients coming involved? Well, we always talk about this, right? We have the instability. This comes all the way, man, I'm almost touching my foot here, all the way from the Gulf, all the way up into the, the high plains. So such as portions there of um, Nebraska in portions of Kansas, a lot of instability is going to be getting involved. That continues all the way into Saturday, into Sunday. So a lot of instability with all that warm air coming in from the south. That's going to be the trigger point right along this boundary. You can even see it right about in here is where we have the best chances of the severest weather. And we might have an explosion of storms that might set us up for portions of Oklahoma into Texas. So now, what about the dew points? Well, uh, as I talked about, dew point is a measure of uh, when, it, or is basically in other words of saying, if you have a dew point of say 55 degrees, you bring that air temperature down to 55 degrees, you get 100% humidity, right? If you have a dew point of 80 degrees and you bring that temperature down to 80 degrees, you get 100% humidity. So it's another way of saying, is it going to be hot and humid? Is it going to be hot and dry? Or is it going to be cold and wet-ish, kind of damp? Or is it going to be cold and dry, right? So in this case, we're going to see humid and warm conditions. Look at all of this fetch of moisture down here. We got dew points in the low to mid 60s, even some low 70s down here in southern Texas, right around San Antonio. And that's going to be aiding in that severe weather risk, all that moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So here's a look at your day four severe risk from the Storm Prediction Center, and they have highlighted here from Northern Texas into Western Oklahoma, as well as into Western Kansas, there's a slight risk for severe weather. But let's take a look. Day number two in this risk of itself, day five that is, we do have the biggest area here of a slight risk. This is the more concerning day i should say that might evolve into maybe a couple of strong tornadoes all the way from southern texas all the way to oklahoma all the way to iowa yet again another midwest buster of severe weather yet again and then day six we have another slight risk of severe weather that is anticipated so once again we're definitely going to have to watch the models very closely because some of them have been going a little crazy with this. Maybe some strong tornado potential, especially again on the first on um, day four and day five, which have all the best chances of seeing that. Now, before I do in the video, folks, I do have some important announcements that you need to be aware of. That's the best thing, right? You need to be aware of my announcements because there are some exciting things coming to the YouTube channel. First of all, my next Atlantic seasonal hurricane forecast is going to be on May 1st at 1 p.m. Well, we'll probably move that a little later, probably more like about 2 or 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Don't miss that. Mark your calendar. If you don't, I will do it for you. No, I'm just kidding. All right. But you get the idea. Mark your calendar for that. Also, mark your calendar for my first routine tropical weather outlook. That will begin on May 25th and will run through November the 1st. Okay, you don't want to miss it. I'm being serious, folks, all right? So don't want to miss that. And this will include rapid updates and live streams. When and where these tropical storms will make landfall, we'll be doing discussions. We will be doing a lot more on this YouTube channel, just like we did last year during Lee. We all remember how strong Lee got. We'll be doing something similar to that this year with those rapid updates. So you don't want to miss it. You also do not want to miss out on the Weather Force YouTube channel. If you guys like the awesome weather content that I do present on my YouTube channel, including, yes, 
my latest Atlantic hurricane season forecast please consider subscribing because I will have more content on the YouTube channel as often as I can possible. And I want you all to let me know what you think about this setup as well. Also, you could follow me on my Twitter page for more updates. Well, it's technically X, but you can call it Twitter. Either way you put it, it's social media. And then of course, we have a Discord server. Yes, we have a Discord server. So if you want to join today and be part of the community and the, the chat and everything, please join. There's a link in the description below this video. You don't want to miss it, okay? I promise. But anyways, if you did like today's detailed weather forecast for severe weather across the Midwest, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. You don't want to miss any of the updates that I need to share with you as often as I can possible, especially with this upcoming severe weather event. We'll probably be going live with my new home office that I have here with you all. So otherwise, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with the next one. Whoop.